Friends, today is the first day of August, a new month. How exciting is that? And a new day. And we know the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases and his mercies are new every day. And so we're going to focus on that a little bit today. We're going to look at Jonah uh, chapter 4, verse 3. So turn to your Bibles, grab your power drinks, and here we go. Now, O Lord, this is Jonah speaking, please take my life from me. It is better for me to die than to live. Yesterday we looked at Jonah's complaint against God. He was upset that God was a God who was uh, gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. Angry about God for being God, for having this special character that we all depend on so much. And in particular, exercising that mercy toward the repentant uh, Assyrians in the city, the capital city of Nineveh. And now he says, uh, I want to die. Just kill me, Lord. Uh, it's better for me to die than to live. If I don't get my way, if I can't get you to judge and destroy the city, all the men, women, and children in this city, I'd rather not live. Wow. So let's take a look at this. Uh, big picture, spiritual progress requires us to have a certain flexibility to be able to change our minds and our hearts. Jonah is completely inflexible. He would rather die than change his view of others and his view of God. His sense of superiority and privilege is so strong, it shaped his identity and his outlook to such a degree that he, he can't imagine abandoning it. He can't imagine shifting his perspective on himself, on the world, and on God. And so he's resisting his own re-education. <laughs> he's just digging in. Um, for Jonah, life is not worth living in a, in a world where God is merciful, a world where people change, a world where the boundaries of God's love extend beyond Israel to people that Jonah doesn't like. Does this remind you of something? It is exactly the situation that Jesus faced. Jesus encountered leaders in Israel, important and influential spiritual leaders who were in the same situation. They did not want to live in a world where God was merciful beyond the boundaries they had set, beyond the lines they had between the righteous and the unrighteous. And Jesus reached out to the unrighteous, tax collectors, sinners, prostitutes, Gentiles, uh, those who they felt had been judged by God, who, who had physical disabilities and so on. This reach out offended them. They were upset that a Messiah candidate would focus on this in his ministry. And so a God that is embracing the, the godless is a scandal and an offense to Jonah, and it was to Jesus' contemporaries as well. One of the warning signs in our lives is when we begin to see a certain set of people or an individual person as fundamentally unlovable. Let's take a moment and pray. Lord, we don't want to put people beyond the pale. We want your cross to be the end of our privilege and our pride. So imprint its meaning on our heart and soul. And don't let, ever let the weeds of superiority grow in our hearts. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen.